Welcome back, everyone, to more Dracula Origin. Not sure if there's anything else we can try taking in this room. So far, we picked up the Sphinx, the Large Pyramid, the Turk's Letter, and the Axe here. This door is extremely solid. No chance of forcing it. Oh, shit. Cobra! Did it, Ali Kamal? Damnation! There was a cobra in this large vase. Impossible to approach the door if I don't find a way to get rid of it. We're gonna have to smoke it out. Get this cobra high. Whoever can name that song in the comments. Brownie there. points. Perfect. Maybe a special little gift. I gotta catch up on gifts. Alright. We got the cobra high as hell. He is sleeping. Surprised he didn't get the munchies and try to eat me first, but hey. Oh. What do we have here in the vase? A key. It must have been in the serpent's vase. Vase. I like how you say it better. Vase. Open. It. Still can't get over how detailed and awesome these backdrops are. All of these precious an amazing items job have been on the graphics. There is no doubt. All of these precious items have been stolen. There is no doubt. As a lover of point and click adventure games, these always amaze me, even in their simplicity. This one's quite intricate. I'll be on your soil in two days' time. I'll be on the ghoul, which will arrive at night. On the quay that you usually use to load contraband merchandise. Everything must be ready upon my arrival. I will not tolerate any carelessness. You'll need to keep the ghoul at my disposal, as I'll need to return to Europe shortly after my arrival. Thus, no shipments of gold or antiques on the ship. Obey this zealously and you will be rewarded. Count D. Come get some. This letter was D. written just two days ago. I am leaving tonight. Prepare the ship. Tomorrow a man named Van Helsing will arrive in Cairo. The body of this man must rest in Egyptian soil as soon as possible. Act with discretion in order to not compromise the lucrativeness of our operations. This letter was written rapidly. The monster must have been pressed to leave again. He didn't even sign it. Dracula's been here in Egypt. The letter addressed to the Turk. Prove it. I must hurry. I have even less time than I thought. The beast knows that I'm tracking him. My days are numbered, but I have no choice. I absolutely must discover the mystery of this cursed tomb and survive as long as it takes to save Mina. After that, it will be him or me. Most likely me, though. It's fucking Dracula. A solar disk. Curious. This sachet is not a part of the stolen goods. It contains gold powder, 
I cannot transport all of these artifacts stolen by this Turk and his acolytes. I must return to the Director as quickly as possible. Alrighty then. Wink, wink. Let's take these gems. Hell, let's take the Cobra. Let us head to the museum. Well, yes, good sir. Let's do so. Can't quick click on that screen for some reason. Van Helsing strolling like a pimp in the Cairo gets out. I don't know how to thank you for recovering these stolen artifacts. The police just brought them, but unhappily, they were unable to put their hands on this Turk. But they know his name, Suleiman. He won't get far. The authorities, S as well as the museum, will draw great prestige from the reinstitution of this stolen treasure. If it can contribute to improving the opinion that the locals have of Westerners. Let's talk about the Coptic artifacts again. Can I have the Coptic artifacts? Give them to Here, me. They are in this sack. And keep the necklace which I entrusted you. It's not on my inventory, and it will make a perfect souvenir. Keep the necklace with the super expensive diamond? Okay. I, I was shall depart. Going to, anyways. It's not the kind of shit you get back. Bag containing cop's treasure. Coptic treasure. Man, we got an inventory here, folks. That's a straight up Monkey Island inventory at this point. Oh yeah, let's show this guy this letter we found also. Let's see what he thinks about this. Look at this parchment. Do you recognize these hieroglyphs? Yes, they are classic symbols from ancient Egypt. I have a book on this very subject over there on my desk. You could take a look. What? You do? Fine. All of that must be deciphered. Oh shit, I'm not doing that. You can fucking do that yourself. So we got some words on the left here. These are corresponding to the hieroglyphs on the right. We need to match the words with the hieroglyphs. A little of the spear, so let's go with weapon. Yeah, drop it like it's hot, baby. That looks like a fucking owl. Let's see what we got here. Within, before, so we have prepositions and adverbs and adjectives and no, not really, just mostly nouns and pronouns or no, nouns and uh, with, within. Fuck, man, I need to go back and t redo my English. Um. So yeah, let's match this shit. That's probably head right over there. I'm gonna go with head. Um, okay. None of these are super obvious. That kind of looks like an altar though. Does anyone speak uh, hieroglyphics? Oh shit, that reset it all. I have some notes down here. I believe help out. And some notes up, up here as well. Let's 
Don't hit the eraser. Fuck shit up. This could be blood. It's got the vampire bite over there. With the little blood splats coming out. This looks like a cracked egg. Cracked, cursed, destroyed maybe? we got here north well let's spell that out for us uh, we got the little walkie leg deal Guard. Box. No idea. This looks like it's inside of or hidden. Hidden inside of. Or no, there's a within also. It's showing an arrow going into a box. What else do we got here? This weird shit. Looks like it's showing a line underneath the box. We'll go with under for that. These words kind of do match up. Under North Altar. That makes somewhat of a sense. Destroy guard. Weapon within my head. My head is a weapon. Curse be on you forever. Holy shit. I'm not sure what that arrow means. Hidden under North Altar. Here's this symbol again. The demon head. Cursed, maybe. Cursed blood hidden under North Altar. And you have this here. It's like entering something. Yes, entering. Darkness, enter. Oh uh, yeah, on the moon, darkness. Let's see this symbol. So we have before, with. I'm gonna guess this owl is with because it's showing a horizontal arrow pointing in both directions. Weapon with magical powers within. I don't even know what that is. Seeker. Seeker head. Hold on, gonna Google.
falcon god of the Mephite necropolis. Images. No. Of course, I'm using Bing, and Bing is dumber than a fucking SJW. Let's see. Falcon God of the Mephite Necropolis. Oh, and look, when I pull it up, it comes right up with the picture of exactly what we're looking at. Bing, you suck dick. Get your shit out of here, you fucking fart heads. Alright, anyways. Uh... Weapon with magical powers within Seeker Head. Cursed blood hidden under North Altar. Before Enter Darkness. That doesn't really make sense, but Curse uh, Be On You Forever. Enter Darkness doesn't make sense either. I found it. Pop a lock and drop it, baby. Fucking hieroglyphic master Ron Stock. Weapons with magical power within seek your head. Curse blood underneath the north altar. Before you enter the darkness, destroy the guard. But a curse be on you forever. I'm already cursed. I'm cursed with having to do let's plays until the day I die. It's a good curse. It's a, it's a blessing? No, I don't like that. I like curse better. inventory here. Holy moly, we got a lot. Check this thing out, dude. What do you want? I found this statuette at our man's hideout. What can you tell me about it? It represents the Black Sphinx without a face, the artifact of the impious cult of which we spoke. The Black Sphinx is one of the shapes of the Black Man without a face, one of the ancient cursed gods. Usually, the Sphinx is placed near a building to guard it. When the building is a tomb, the Sphinx protects the corpse within. It's a bodyguard, if you will permit my little joke. As for the hieroglyphs, they represent a phrase or a name, or possibly both. This phrase is pronounced Nayarhut, or more likely Luthotep. Nayar Luthotep, that's it! I would have trouble giving you the exact signification without much research, and we seem to have little time. I must recommend, however, that you dispose of this artifact at the soonest opportunity. It will only bring bad luck. Yeah, yeah. I shall depart, Director. Bad luck is Van Helsing's middle name. Chasing goddamn Count Dracula. It's not very lucky. Check it out. Whoa. Mufasa. Calling Mustafa Mufasa from now on. But what is it, my friend? You seem to be in an ill humor. My wife has locked me out because of my niece. She hasn't set foot back in the house, and I'm not allowed to return home myself until the girl is found. Good luck, then. Such tragedy for this family. What will they do if they learn the truth? They will think me mad, and worse, they might take vengeance on all Westerners and spread this hatred to the whole of Cairo. Yeah, or just keep them all in wonder. These great. I think I'd rather want to know and have closure. Good evening. Here are the objects that you asked for. I've also succeeded in finding the solar disk missing from the cross. Your Boom. steps are guided by Saint Mark, my son. It is a miracle that you have accomplished this. Unfortunately, 
I have some bad news. You don't say. In order to replace the objects that were found on the cross, I have this host for you which will be necessary. I do not know two of the other artifacts, but they were certainly common items because nothing was consigned to me by my predecessors. They must, however, be feared by demons, and you seem to know a lot about that matter. But some artifacts are still missing. Is something worrying you? We will need some holy water to pour into a cup for one of the arms. I don't have any more. I can, with the artifacts you have brought me, perform the water benediction ceremony in my role as priest. The water here is unsuitable for benediction. The aura emanating from the tomb, as well as the recent flock of birds, have sullied the waters hereabouts. I will require water that hasn't touched the earth, such as rainwater. But it is the dry season, and it won't rain for days, if not weeks. I cannot suffer such a delay. I will attempt to find a solution and bring you some suitable water as soon as possible. A small quantity will suffice. I found this statuette. Can you tell me about it? It is a black sphinx without a face. One of the shapes of the black man without a face oh, who no, cries. The black man, watch me. out! It is a cursed object. Smashing it would be the best. Of course it is. It's racist. What does the inscription on the side mean? The director of the museum pronounced it as Nai Ar Lut Hotep. Hieroglyphs are alien to me, but I know this name. It is the name of the black man without a face, messenger of the ancient gods. His name signifies there is no sleep past the threshold. Or there is no peace after judgment. Do you understand what that means? The threshold is the passage between life and death. I knew you were going to tell me. Which corresponds to man's acts on the day of judgment and whether one has a right to heaven or hell. Those who call upon the black man with no face are condemned to eternal damnation. This could take the form of a soul wandering for eternity screeching through the black void. But it could also take the form of a creature neither dead nor alive, hiding amongst mortals, subject to an unspeakable hatred and eternal torment. Goodbye, Herodotus. The heavens be with you, my child. Be full of courage. Fine. Now I must find some water that hasn't touched the earth. Easy peasy. Have a camel piss in a bowl. Mustafa just comes and goes as he pleases. This barbecue emits a great heat. We have a water trough and a barbecue. No, I cannot do that. You can't fucking no, I... look at it. So obviously you need to use this to some extent. Some dirty camel spit water. And we got this fucking diamond off this necklace. And we use the diamond to carve a square mirror. Telling you, Van Helsing is MacGyver. Let's heat some water up. I 
I needed help on this puzzle for surezies. See, <laughs> this is the part I, I didn't figure out was you need to use the uh, pan, the pot on the glass to get condensation. That's, that's pretty tricky. I like it though, because it makes sense. <laughs> it, it would make condensation. And then of course we can use a small amount to get into the flask. That was a good puzzle, I thought. Good little combination puzzle. Return to the monk with the holy water. I am listening, my child. Here is some water that comes from air and has not touched the ground. It should be suitable. The heavens are with you, my son. I can bless this water. Here, my child. You must go alone to the tomb. I must pray in the chapel and recite the rites, which will open the seal for you. Besides, the access is difficult for a man of my age. You have been there. An old man of God knows the cornerstones of life. He also knows what may be the throes of death. An innocent young girl succumbed in this damned place. Despite being a Muslim, she has a Christian grave. It goes against tradition, but her soul will rest in peace from now on. She died in the clutches of the monster, who leaves behind him a long list of similar tragedies. Nevertheless, her family is not worried, because they are not fully informed. What can we do? Tell them the truth. But know that a Muslim buried by a Christian will certainly cause numerous misunderstandings, and probably worse. You know more than I about this business. Your decision will be wise. You have been an old man. She died. Tell them the Okay, truth. sorry, didn't mean to do After that. After having gone past the cross, is there anything else I need to do? According to the ancient priest's reports, you must find a secret passage just after the cross. To open it, you must put a gold debon and a hinu of cursed blood into a basin. I do not know what it signifies. Directly afterwards, the sun must hit the summit of the pharaoh's tombs. Again, I can't help you. But the heavens are with you. You will succeed. Goodbye, Herodotus. The heavens be with you, my child. Be full of courage. I must Better return to the ship. temple. I am prepared. Who knows what awaits me? All right, heading back to the Blood Rocks. We obviously have some unfinished business here. I'm not saving as much as I should be. And that's because I'm having some recording speed bumps, if you will. This game will only play in full screen, so I can't really confirm whether or not it's it's recording, uh, it limits my pausing ability, things like that. It's just, it's been an issue. And I think, as usual, we figure out a solution to make shit happen. All right, we have some items here, obviously, that fit. I found it. Yeah, you sure did. Good job, buddy. There. Perfect. The host goes in the top slot. That is the bread of body of Christ that you re receive in communion. It is known as the host. 
Perfect. On to the next step. Fits in that little shithole. There. Perfect. And of course. There. Holy water. All of the artifacts are placed. Now I must utter the words that Herodotus taught me. Mm, Delen, Dagrum, Balorum, Veritas, Grum, Ble, Bleva, Del True, Grum, Fugnorat. <laughs> that looked like a lot of fun to spell out for the captions. Alright, lots of stuff to interact with here. Despite the absence of a drought, the water whirls around. A broken statue of the god Seker. So the first line was weapon with magical power within Seeker head. So we need to get inside this Seeker head. The Seeker is the Egyptian falcon god who is on the ground there. I shall be his executioner. That was not nearly as cool of an animation as it should have been. A spearhead, lavishly decorated, and extremely solid. They are Egyptian sculptures, but they are oddly horrible and obscene. They are Egyptian sculptures, but they are oddly. What's obscene about that, man? One's got a monkey face, one's got a lizard face. It consists of a partially broken, yet still solid, funerary barge. These hieroglyphs remind me of something. Think. Whoa. Well, not seeing anything too obvious here. Got a the chest. surface here seems to be very straight. I can place my scale. With the help of the scale and certain objects that I must collect, I should be able to obtain a debon of gold that is... 13.6 grams of this metal. This might be useful. I am taking it. Gaint.
They are Egyptian scum. A broken statue. A broken statue of the god Seker. Seker. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here. We're pretty much out of time anyways. And uh, we'll be back soon. And I'm going to try to figure some of this shit out. Thanks for watching.